race between former President Donald Trump and Vice President Kamala Harris is razor thin, with both candidates virtually tied in critical swing states. According to a new Washington post Shar poll, Harris leads Trump by just one point overall, while both see narrow leads in key states like Arizona, Georgia, and Wisconsin. With no candidate ahead by more than four points, the 2024 election is shaping up to be one of the closest and most unpredictable in recent history. The swing state race between former President Donald Trump and Vice President Kamala Harris is virtually tied, according to a new poll released Monday that shows Trump with his strongest leads in Arizona and North Carolina, and Harris with her widest margins in Georgia and Wisconsin, though no candidate is ahead in any state by more than four points. Harris is ahead by one point overall in the seven battleground states, according to a Washington post Shar poll of registered voters released Monday that found her leading 49% to 48%. Arizona Trump is ahead by three points, 49% to 46% in the Washington post Shar school poll, consistent with a CBS Shar YouGov survey last week that showed Trump leading Harris 51% to 48%, though a Wall Street Journal poll released October 11 found Harris up by two points, 47% to 45%. Trump is up 1.9 points in 538's polling average. Georgia, the Washington post Shar poll found Harris ahead by four points, 51% to 47%. Following a Quinnipiac poll released last week that showed Trump leading 52% to 45%, while an Oct 10 Emerson poll showed Trump up one point, 49% to 48%. Trump leads by 1.6 in 538's polling average. North Carolina, Trump is up three points, 50% to 47% in the Washington post Shar poll, while Harris had a two-point lead, 49% to 47% in the Quinnipiac poll. 538's average shows him with a 0.8 point advantage. Pennsylvania, Harris leads by two points, 49% to 47% in the Washington post Shar poll, and she held a three-point advantage, 50% to 47%, closer to four points when not rounded up. In a pair of New York Times, Shas Philadelphia Inquirer, your Siena College polls released October 12, though the Wall Street Journal and Emerson polls both found Trump with a one-point lead. Trump leads Harris by 0.4 points in 538's polling average. Michigan, Harris is ahead by two points, 49% to 47% in the Washington post Shar poll, consistent with the Wall Street Journal findings that also found her ahead by two points, while the Emerson poll showed them tied, and an October 9 Quinnipiac poll found Trump leading by three points, 50% to 47%. Harris is up by just 0.1 point in Michigan in 538's polling average. Wisconsin, Harris holds a three-point lead, 50% to 47% in the Washington post Shar poll, a one-point lead in the Journal poll, while Trump leads Harris by two points, 48% to 46%, nine Quinnipiac poll, and the two are tied at 49% in the Emerson poll. Harris is up 0.3 points in 538's average. Nevada, Trump and Harris are tied at 48% in the Washington post Shar poll. The journal poll has Trump up by five points and Harris is up one point, 48% to 47% in the Emerson survey. Harris leads by 0.3 points in 538's polling average. That's how many points Harris leads Trump by Real Clear Politics national polling average, while 538's average shows her up by 1.7. Trump is favored to win 53 times out of 100 compared to 47 for Harris, according to 538's election forecast. Political analyst and statistician Nate Silver also gives Trump a narrow edge, but wrote recently he's never seen an election in which the forecast spent more time in the vicinity of 50-50. Biden dropped out of the race on July 21st after resisting calls from within his own party for weeks to end his re-election bid in the wake of his disastrous performance in the June 27th debate. He immediately endorsed Harris and she announced plans to seek the nomination. The party quickly coalesced around her with 99% of Democratic delegates voting to officially nominate her in a virtual roll call prior to the Democratic National Convention in August. As the 2024 election inches closer, the neck-and-neck -neck battle between Trump and Harris shows no sign of letting up. With both candidates holding slim margins in crucial swing states, every vote will be pivotal in deciding the next president of the United States.